What is up garden friends? It's Heather at Bush Puppy Farm. I hope you're doing great today. Today we're going to be talking about sunflowers. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, now's the time. So today, talking about sunflowers that I'm going to be planting for the 2022 season, um, there are two kinds of sunflowers. Um, there is a single stem sunflower, which is what is used in the cut flower industry because um, you can get nice big heads um, and there you can pack more in the field. So a lot of times single cut uh, sunflowers, which is the single stem, will, will we'll plant them between four to six inches apart. So that's really close together. The closer you plant single stem sunflowers, the smaller the head. So if you want to grow single stem sunflowers and you want to grow huge, huge heads, plant them like a foot apart <laughs> if you have the space. So um, the, and then there's also branching sunflowers, which is the, is the second category. And those are more of the type of sunflowers that you get in your nurseries or the seed packets that you find um, it's the branching variety. So they give you multiple branches on a single plant with lots and lots of blooms. And so they are also cut and come again. Whereas the single stem variety is you cut it, it's done. Um, with the single stem variety as flower farmers, we tend to plant in successions. So um, I have a small space that I'm growing in. My space for my sunflowers is a three foot wide by 50 foot wide bed. And so um, I can grow a lot in there if you think about them being spaced six inches apart, but you don't wanna plant them all at once because um, then you will just have a whole field of sunflowers all at once and um, you can't, it's hard to get rid of that many sunflowers. So you plant them in a succession. So for me, I plant 20, I mean, some, some people have enough space that they're planting, you know, 500 a week or a thousand a week. <laughs> Not me, because I don't have that much space. So I'm planting 20 a week. Um, and so the, um, what happens is I'm starting at the, my bed runs um, runs from south, north, south. So because the earliest planted ones will be taller than the, than the later planted ones, I start at the back of the bed, at the north end of the bed, and I plant my first 20. Then a week later, I plant another 20, and then another 20. And so the bed will look uh, like stair steps um, as you come towards the south end. Um, so that way I can always cut, um, plenty of sunflowers every week. And, um, I also, uh, won't be shading out any of the new or newer seedlings. So you kind of, kind of keep those things in mind when you're putting things in your garden, even where the sun is, um, what, whatever you're planting might be shading something else. Um, so, um, just a, a little kernel in the back of your mind. So I'm gonna talk about the um, single variety, single stem variety first. And the, um, the main brand um, for this is called the Pro Cut Series. Now, um, I've gotten sunflower seeds from a lot of different sources, Johnny's, Gardener's Workshop, um, they're wonderful. Last year, Serena at You Can't Eat the Grass um, did a video about sunflower selections. So I went there. Oh my goodness. So not only do they carry the whole Pro Cut series, but they have a, a huge variety of branching sunflowers. So I bought all of my sunflowers from there for this year. Um, huge variety. I would totally recommend them. Not that the other seed variety uh, companies aren't great, but Sunflower Selections specializes in sunflowers. So check them out. So for the Pro Cut series, what I'm growing this year, um, and this is not in any order, although I do tend to plant the lighter color, more summery colors first, and then I, um, I like to plant the darker colors later so that I get those around um, the fall. So um, just to, to give you the idea of the colors, and hopefully I can put a picture right here for you to see. Um, White Night, this is um, kind of a, a very, lush um, white petals bordering a light colored center disc. So it's kind of a kind of a greenish center disc. Um, and then the counter to that is white night. And that is the same kind of petals, like a creamy white petals bordering a dark center disc. Then there's lemon. Um, this, uh, and these are all, again, these are all the Pro Cut series. So Pro Cut Lemon, Pro Cut White Night, Pro Cut White Light. Um, 
So then there's lemon, which is a dark center with uh, like buttery yellow petals around it. Then there's orange. This is the classic sunflower that you always think of. It is, you know, the dark center with the bright orange petals around it. Um, then there's gold light, which is, um, it's bright, it's a bright green center. And then there's like overlapping orange petals around it. So it's kind of, um, almost looks like a double sunflower, but it's not. Um, and then there's bicolor. Um, that is a splashy red on like orange tipped petals. It's, it's really pretty. Um, and then horizon. This one's kind of cool because it's an upward facing bloom. So, you know, most sunflowers face forward. This one faces up. So it's great for um, bouquets because it will face upwards in the bouquet um, as opposed to out straight. Um, it is, uh, has overlapping orange petals around a traditional dark center. Um, then there is red, which is a dark, really dark center with dark burgundy petals. Um, and it's really great for fall. It's a great fall arrangement color. And then there's double quick. It's not actually a pro cut, but it's a single stem sunflower. And um, it's the earliest of the single stem flowers and it's double petaled. So it's really cool. It looks like a giant marigold. Before I move on to the branching ones, I want to mention um, someone who you really must follow on YouTube. His name is Sunflower Steve. <laughs> he grows more than sunflowers. Uh, he's a farmer in Wisconsin, I believe. Um, he has been spending the last I don't know, 10 to 15 years working on specialized sunflowers for the cut flower industry. This is a huge, huge, huge game changer because these are beautiful. A lot of them are double. They're like pom-pom varieties. I mean, just gorgeous. So today they're not available yet. Uh, because it takes a long time to ensure the seed quality and that it's true to seed and all that kind of stuff. It's multiple generations of planting. Um, but he's working with Florette to uh, do a seed release. And I think this year, 2022, he's going to have a very tiny seed release. Um, so they'll sell out really quickly because lots of people know about him at this point. But you can follow him, Sunflower Steve, on Instagram as well. Um, and you can sign up for his newsletter, which will let you know when the seed sale will be happening. But hopefully in 2023, we'll all get a chance to buy some of his uh, sunflowers. They are gorgeous, uh, unlike anything you've ever seen. So definitely check that out. Now, moving on to branching sunflowers. Um, I grow these mostly from, for a sunflower seedling sale that I do um, at the beginning of summer. Um, I do plant some of them in the landscape, but for the most part, I don't cut for bouquets off of these because the stems aren't very long, uh, but they're super pretty for being in your landscape or in containers. It's, it's really enjoyable to put them in containers. And sometimes I'll do that and leave them through the fall so that the birds can have all the seeds. Um, yeah, it's nice. It brings in some wildlife to the garden and um, gives you some, some pretty colors to look at. So branching sunflowers that I'm growing this year, golden cheer, this one is described as a fluffy ball of yellow. Um, it's usually three to four branches um, off of a main, larger main head. And then um, if you pinch them early, which means to remove um, usually the top leader, we'll talk about pinching um, when my snapdragons come, the same concept. Um, but uh, pinching early gives you more blooms. When you pinch a plant, it's basically pruning it. You're telling the plant to put out more, uh, more stems. And so, um, you don't want to do that on single stem varieties, right? So if you pinch a single stem sunflower, you're not going to have any sunflowers on that plant because you have just pinched away the only blooming stock. But if it's a multi-branched sunflower or a plant that, that throws out multiple stems of flowers, like snapdragons, for instance, pinching it will give you more flowers. Okay, so that was Golden Cheer. This is Lemon Sorbet. Um, it's a branching variety of the Pro Cut series. So it is like the lemon um, in the Pro Cut. So it's got that like dark center with the buttery lemon petals, but it is a multiple branch um, variety. So that's pretty cool. Um, Orange Hobbit, I love this name. <laughs> it's densely loaded with blooms. So they're like really packed in there. Uh, kind of like how you see what, what the mums, the garden mums look like in the, in the fall in the nurseries. That's the kind of sunflower. So it's like just packed with blooms and it's a really compact plant. So it's great for containers 
um, or the front bed, uh, front of your any mixed borders or anything like that, front of a garden bed, because it doesn't get very tall. Um, and then there's Junior. This is a miniature sunflower um, that also works excellently in pots and um, also along the front of a border. So it rarely gets higher than your knee. Um, so that's great because, you know, sunflowers, uh, whether they're the Procut series or um, some of the branching series, I mean, we I planted a few branching ones in that I had left over from the seedling sale in our wine barrels and they reached well over nine feet. Um, they were going above the roof line of the house. <laughs> so um, with huge heads and that was just with the branching sunflowers. And so um, they can get really big. So if you get, if you want to have sunflowers in a smaller contained space, um, these last two, Orange Hobbit and Junior are great for that. Now on the, um, on the Sunflower Selections website, they have a ton of other varieties. These are just a few. Um, I, I restrained myself. I could have bought all of them, but then what would I do with them all? Because I just only have so much space. So definitely check them out. They have great pictures and good descriptions and um, their, their seed packets are nice. They're, they're foil lined seed packets and so they last a long time. Um, so you can get a packet of seeds and you can use it for multiple seasons. So uh, it's definitely worth checking them out. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed that little tour of sunflowers for 2022 here on the farm. Please be sure to check out Sunflower Selections. The link to that website is below in the description box. And also the link to Sunflower Steve's Instagram account is below in the description box. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, now's the time. So take care of yourself. Have a great week or weekend, whichever day you're watching this on. And I'll talk to you soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.